begin by attempting to praise God and our praise is never enough and then we attempt to thank Allah and our thanks will never ever ever be enough ever and then we remind ourselves we weren't we're not made for this world this is not our home we're only visitors we're only here for a few moments what are we doing with these few moments how are we to our wives, our husbands, our mothers, our fathers, our neighbors? How are we to those who we like and those that we may not like? We remind ourselves we weren't made, we're not made for this world. We're only here, visitors, strangers. We feel like we belong somewhere else. This world is the home for the homeless. And the one who collects has no intellect. <laughs> Why? Because everything we collect is going to vanish, disappears. Our dar, our home, is in the next abode. We're visitors here. May Allah make it comfortable. The one who collects has no intellect. And then we warn ourselves we're going back to our maker. We're returning to our maker. These beautiful verses in the Quran, in Surah al saf the rose or the rank, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah, in an amazing way, and everything is amazing, He says they want to turn off the light of God with their, with their speech, with their mouths, but Allah will sustain His light, even if the disbelievers hate it. He's the one, Allah is the one who sent to you. Allah is the one who sent to you his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth and haq to make it apparent and rise and victorious over all other ways, even if the mushrikun hate it. O oh, you who believe, now here's the question. The rhetorical question from God to you. Ya ayyuhalladhina amanu hal adullukum. Should I, should I direct you to a business? Interesting. To a business, to a transaction, to a trade, to a bargain. Tunjikum min adabin alim. It'll save you from the torment of hellfire. Of course, Ya Allah, please, please tell me. What an amazing business transaction. Tell me, Ya Allah. So I can be from the winners. تُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَتُجَاهِدُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ بِأَمْوَالِكُمْ وَأَنفُسِكُمْ Believe in Allah, His Messenger, and strive hard and struggle in His way with your money and with your lives. ذَلِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تَعْلَمُونَ That's better for you if you only knew. And if you do that, then what do you get? يَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ He'll forgive your sins. And you'll enter paradise and rivers flowing beneath. And dwellings and houses and homes that are pleasant. In paradise. That's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. That's the deal. And that is the great victory. And that is the deal, ladies and gentlemen. Believe in Allah, His Messenger. Strive with your money and your lives. And you get paradise. And you get dwellings. And you get contentment from God. That's the deal. In a remarkable, remarkable way, in the beginning, in the in the first aqaba transit, in the first aqaba pledge, allegiance, the, the companions came and the Prophet ﷺ asked them to make promises. This is the DNA of Islam. And these promises include various, various promises. And there's the first aqaba and the second aqaba. One of them is not to care about what people say about you. Don't fear the censure of anyone when you're on God's way. Don't fear their censure. And, and in return, you get paradise. So that's the deal. That's the covenant. That's the transaction. That's the promise. However, the next verse is what we're here to talk about. 
Interesting. And something else, Allah says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and I'm going to give you something else. وَأُخْرَى تُحِبُّونَهَا And something else that you like. Something else that you adore. Something else that you enjoy. Something else that you appreciate. But hold on, we just said this is the deal, but I'm going to give you a sugar, the sugar on top, the cherry on top. I'm going to give you a little sweetness because you like it, because you enjoy it. What is it? وَأُخْرَى تُحِبُّونَهَا نَصْرٌ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَفَتْحٌ قَرِيبٌ I'm going to give you victory from Allah. Nasr from Allah. وَفَتْحٌ قَرِيبٌ And and a victory that is near. Help from Allah and a victory that is near. And give good news to the believers. So this is very interesting because the deal is that we get paradise, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is he says, I'm going to give you the cherry on top. I'm going to give you something you like, something you enjoy, which is victory, help, and openings. In other words, in other words, it's our job to love the struggle and not be attached to the outcome. That's the takeaway. Love the struggle. Not the outcome. It's our job to take care of the input. Allah takes care of the output. We take care of the micro. Allah takes care of the macro. We, need, we love the struggle. We love the struggle. We love the process. We love the process, the system that we engage in every day. We love not, we love not, not finishing the marathon because that's ending. That's the end. We love going on the treadmill every day. We love the struggle every day. Even if, forget the finishing the marathon. We love the struggle every day. In, a, in, 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 in two other places, this becomes apparent. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ إِنْ كَانَ آبَاءُكُمْ وَأَبْنَاءُكُمْ وإخوانكم وأزواجكم وعشيرتكم وأموال اقترفتموها وتجارة تخشون كسادها ومساكن ترضونها If these eight things are more beloved to you than these three things, then beware. <laughs> then wait. حتى يأتي الله بأمره What are these, what are the other three things? If these eight things are more beloved to you than these three, then beware, then wait. If your parents and your children and your, and your siblings and your spouses and your relatives and the money that you've saved up and your business that you fear will decline and your homes that you enjoy, if these are more beloved to you than Allah wa Rasulahu. And what? What's the third thing? And striving and struggling. Love the struggle. We are attached to the struggle. We're not attached to the outcome. It's a very different lens. It's a very different lens and a different paradigm. And we, we enjoy the victory and the help and the aid and we ask Allah for that. We do. We enjoy it. We're wired that way. But it's our job to love the struggle. Which is very interesting. More beloved to you than Allah, His Messenger, and wajihadin fi sabilihi, and loving the struggle. In the other verse in the Quran, where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala talks about people He loves and they love Him. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu man yartadda minkum an dinihi fa sofa yati Allahu bi qawmin yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbuna. He'll bring people that they love Him and He loves them, and they have four qualities. What are they? Do you love the struggle? Because it's, this culture tells us maximize laziness. There is Trying to remember a commercial I saw a couple weeks ago. 
which said, ep epitomizing this culture, the epitome of the, this idea, and it said, it's your right to be lazy. <laughs> backwards. The, 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 things are inversed and backwards. Think, think, you know, so for these four qualities of the people that love Allah and they love Him, they're gentle with their fellow believers. They're strong. They have integrity and dignity and pride when it comes to the disbelievers. I'm not here with an inferiority complex to gain your approval. I'm proud to be. Islam began as strange, will end as strange, and congratulations to the strange ones. Or Islam began as weird and will end as weird as it began. And congratulations to the weirdos. Sometimes it's better not to fit in. If you fit in, that actually might be a concern. <laughs> I don't want to fit in today. If, you're, if someone's in a mental health hospital, they don't want to fit in. May Allah cure them all and give them healing. But I don't want to fit in. Being normal is no longer a healthy ambition. And I dare ask, is normal actually normal? <laughs> is normal normal? And so these four qualities, gentle on the believers, dignity and pride with the disbelievers. And what's the third one? They strive for Allah. They strive. They love the struggle. <laughs> Remember, the cherry on top is the victory, and we ask Allah for victory. It's painful. It's painful. But the lens, when we zoom out and we see the bigger picture, things start to make sense. And everything, any problem we have, if we stay focused on it, it the problem is bigger. And we zoom out, the problem shrinks. No matter what the problem is. No matter where the problem is in our life. And the fourth quality, and especially for the young high schoolers and college students and junior high students and everyone. And they don't care about when other people talk about them negatively. Oh, look at him. Look at him. What's he doing? He's praying. He's putting his face on the ground. Look at her. Why does she have that rag on her head? I don't care what they say. I'm proud of my way. You learned that probably when you were five years old. You have your way, I have my way. I'm not like you, you're not like me. I'm not like you, you're not like me. You have your way, I have my way. قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ You've been saying that probably since you were five years old. Maybe, unless you learned it later in life. And so the idea, my beloved brothers and sisters, in this time, in this calamitous time, increasing time of confusion, in this painful time, there is this lens that we come with, that we all, the cherry on top is the victory, but really the deal we make is, I'm going to strive for you, Ya Allah. أقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروا إنه الغفور الرحيم. Seek forgiveness from Allah. He forgives all sins. بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. There's this book called uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's called Atomic Habits. It's recommended by many of our teachers and so you highly recommend Atomic Habits. And it's the idea that atomic comes from atom. And atom is the tiniest building block, the smallest building block, and yet it has atomic power. So with tiny changes, remarkable results. And this idea, if we can actually dismantle the lie of this culture that tells us that we will be so happy when we're lazy, if we can dismantle that for a moment and explore the idea that I want to be energetic, no matter what it is that you care about, if you want to, if you have your dream and you know part of Adab Adab is placing something in its place. Part of Adab is realizing your potential. Because <laughs> God gave you a potential, and all and, and you know it. Maybe, maybe you forgot it, but sometimes it, it, 
it sparkles and you remember, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I can be this. Yeah, I can be that. And yes, we can. Every single one of us have a remarkable potential. It's not just, you know, it looks like a miracle from the outside, but you know what it actually is? It's actually doing these tiny things every day for a period of time. <laughs> When someone comes out, you haven't seen them for a month, a year, a decade, and you're like, MashaAllah, how did he become so smart? MashaAllah, how did he become so strong? MashaAllah, how did he become so religious? MashaAllah, how did he become so much adab? It's like, whoa, that's a miracle. Actually, it's just this tiny thing that he or she probably did every day. It looks like a miracle from the outside. <laughs> It looks miraculous. Wow, because a miracle is something that's out of the norm, out of the ordinary. Wow, you know why? Because it's out of the ordinary for people to reach their potential nowadays. <laughs> it's out of the, it's very rare for someone to reach their potential. Because we've been, we've been lied to to say, maximize your laziness and try to, with, to get with maximum output. Maximize laziness to maximize output. If someone can sit on the couch all day with money rolling in the bank, oh, he has it made. What? <laughs> and love the struggle. So this is the invitation for myself, for you, for all of us, to actually think about this concept for a moment. To love the struggle. To love going on the treadmill one minute a day. To love opening a book for one line a day. For lo to love calling my mom once a day. These tiny things and enjoying, enjoying and being attached to the struggle, not to the outcome. I'm going to do my part, Allah will do his part. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring ease to the suffering Muslims all around the world. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا اللهم اهدنا فيمن هديت وعافنا فيمن عافيت وتولنا فيمن توليت وبارك لنا فيما أعطيت وقنا واصرف عنا شر ما قضيت فإنك تقضي بالحق ولا يقضى عليك ولا يذل من وليت ولا يعز من عديت تبارك يا ذا الجلال تبارك ربنا وتعاليت لك الحمد والشكر على ما قضيت نستغفرك اللهم من جميع الذنوب والخطايا ونتوب إليك ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين Oh Allah, we turn to you collectively as an ummah We turn to you as a group We turn to you as a community We turn to you as the children of Adam We turn to you as the ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam We turn to you as the Muslims, in Calif as the Muslims from California We turn to you and say لبيك لبيك وسعذيك يا الله we're turning, we're waking up, Ya Allah. We're, we, we're waking up, Ya Allah. We're, we're here, we're, we're striving to clean ourselves, to clean our tongues, to clean our eyes, to clean our ears, to stop arguing. We're, we're here to clean our transactions. La bayk, Ya Allah, we resubmit to you. We renew our submission to you, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, our eyes belong to you, our ears belong to you, our tongues belong to you, and we'll use them as the, the way you want. You own us, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we submit ourselves to you. We turn our attention to you. We entrust our affairs to you. We depend and lean on you out of love and fear of you. There is no escape from you except to you. You are our number one. You are our beloved. Oh Allah, we ask you, Mata Nasrullah, ala inna Nasrullah qareeb. We ask you to make us that community, those believers that, that love you and you love them. We ask you to let us be attached and enjoy the sweetness of serving you. We ask you to give victory to our teachers, our scholars, our true superheroes, and to, and to give us true wisdom so we know what a true superhero looks like, our teachers and our scholars. May Allah bless them and their, and their spouses and their families. Ameen. And forgive all of our sins and gather us all in paradise. Ameen. 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 And we ask you for the cherry on top. We do. We ask you for the cherry on top. Nasru min Allah wa fathun qareeb. Help from Allah. 
and a, and, and, a, and, a, and a near opening, and, and a, op- a near opening. We ask you for the cherry on top. We ask you for that. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamu ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salli allahumma ta'ala ala sayyidina muhammad al-nabiyya al-ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala inna allaha ya'mur bil adli wal ihsani wa ita'i dhal qurba wa yanha anil fahshai wal munkari wal baghi ya'adukum la'alakum tadakkaroon Remember Allah and he will remember you.